Yeah. And the trends are to compete with other women. The trends are not for men. Yeah. So this soft girl era that we're seeing on social media, it's the fancy dining, the best spas, it's the best flights and trips, it's the best clothes and shoes. Mm -hmm. And that's not stuff for men. Yeah. These women are doing this yeah. to compete with other women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, what's soft about that? Yeah, that's It's so not crazy. even soft. It's yeah. not even, you're not even genuinely doing it for your own hurt, personal healing or personal self-care. Yeah. You're doing it so that you can post it and up on someone else. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Flex on them. Flexing super hard. Yeah, that's and correct. Yeah, it's crazy out here. Yeah, it is crazy. And mm -hmm. speaking, I think it like has bled into our men too. Like yeah. the same like propaganda and like you know brainwashing that we had going on, our men have too. Yeah. Because so many of our men are like, I want a woman that got her her own. She got her stuff together. She got this. She got that. They've been raised by those women. Exactly. And they don't know that they actually don't want that. No. And I, I learned this the hard way. Like, I've <laughs> talked about this on this podcast here before. But I learned this the hard way. And I think, like, the person who I was in a relationship at the time also learned it the hard way. But, like, we went into a relationship, um, a five-year relationship. We went into it. And we were, it was 50-50. Like, we were 50-50 uh, everything. 50-50 making decisions. 50-50 paying bills. 50-50 raising our child. Like, 50-50 everything. And it got to a point where it was like, okay, we need to grow together. And who is actually going to make the decisions to do that, you know? And it was like, I'll do it, or you can do it. It doesn't matter which one does it, but he wasn't doing it. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. But then I, we both were put, it wasn't working. And I realized it took me that relationship to really understand and get real about the fact that no man's going to want you to be leading them. Even mm -hmm. if they don't know it subconsciously, like innately, they do not want a woman leading them. Our leadership with men is inspiration. Mm. That's how we lead. I like that's that. How we, that's how we can kind of get what we want. Yeah. Is when we learn how to inspire. Ooh. And a lot of women don't know how to inspire a man. They don't know how to inspire a man's love. What does it look like? So I think what it looks like is, um, first, it's it's knowing how to talk to a man and not talk at a man. Ooh, this is it's, key. It's, it's knowing how to listen yeah. and not feel attacked. Because a lot of the times when, when a man is actually constructively correcting us yeah we feel like we're under attack so i think if you know how to receive whatever he's saying constructively and you can make the adjustments if you know how to talk to him and not talk at him mm -hmm. if you know how to listen when words are not being spoken mm -hmm. like you've learned him enough you have an invested interest enough that you are listening innately mm -hmm. to everything that he says and everything that he's do he does to mm -hmm. know him mm -hmm. i think that's what will inspire a man that gets up every day for you yeah a man that's that's inspired to get up and and work hard for his family yeah. and now the dreams that you have are also his dreams yeah and um i think when we when we start to get into that i think we'll start to see improvement in how we interpret our parts in the relationship because i think a lot of women think that they are controlless mm -hmm. in the relationship so this is why they want to be i need it to be my way or i want to give 50 50 or i gotta have my name on this because you think you don't have any power you just don't know how to use your power yeah yeah and that's why femininity is important that's why submission is important a man that has a woman that's submitting mm -hmm. is going to go to the moon and the stars for her mm -hmm. it, you want to find a a successful husband mm -hmm. You find a successful husband by finding one that's happy with his wife. Mm -hmm. And then you find that wife and befriend her mm -hmm. and find out what is it that she's done. Like people think you go to have girlfriends that are married and that just makes the marriage material. Yeah. Not all wives are good wives. Yeah. Yeah. Not all men are happily married. There are a lot of people that are married and miserable. Yeah. So you want to find the woman mm -hmm. that has the happy husband because mm -hmm. that's the woman that knows how to inspire and it's so crazy because it's so few and far between very very few and far in between oh my god when you find them yeah those are the people that you go and you get your information from yeah like you go and you 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 pull from them mm -hmm. and most of the women that are in those spaces they're not going to say it's a walk in the park it's not a walk in the park to be with anybody no but it's the it's the willingness each day to choose each other. Yeah. It's the sacrifices. It's recognizing that he's not a hundred percent 
neither am I, mm-hmm. but I love the 80 that I get. Yeah. I'm grateful for the 80 because there's some women that are not even getting a, a fourth of what I'm getting. Right. And it's always being in that mindset like, yeah, today I don't like you, but I could not see myself doing another day without you. Right. Like those type of things. So I think we just have to learn how to inspire. And ins- inspiration for men are different. It's subjective. Yeah. But I think universally they have some core things. Like they want respect. Yeah. You know, men... Uh, Love for men is respect, honor, yeah. loyalty, yep. being trustworthy. A lot of women are not the type of women that a man can come and be vulnerable to because the first moment that you get his vulnerability, maybe you think he's weak or maybe you take that and you throw it back at him. Yeah. So now he'll never open up to you again. Yeah. And, you know, it's just a it's a number of things that, you know, can inspire a man. No, a thousand percent. I think what you're like one of the key things I'm here and like what's really resonating with me as I'm listening to you talk is how you speak to a man. Yeah. It's like, I am so working on that and have been working on that for so long. And, uh, I've seen it happen. Like I've seen like, cause it's crazy. Cause like a woman, you can get what you want from a man just by, time. just by speaking and talk, talking to him nicely. Yeah. You know, like you just have to know how to speak to a man. Mm-hmm. That's all you need to do. You know? And when you have conflict, right, when there's a problem, and I've I've had this fault too, mm-hmm. I would attack with I would I would attack the conversation with with the problem, like I would start it with the problem. Yeah. Where sometimes you need to attack the conversation with a compliment. Yeah. You need to say something good to this guy. Yeah. You know, babe, I really love when you do this. Yeah. I love it when you do this, but I did want to mention that. X Y Z happen and it I don't really like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I, you know, th- then that makes it a little easier for him to hear you. Yeah, and he not be on the defense. Yeah, and he not be like, whatever. Everything I do is not enough. Yeah, you know now it's his guard is down because you started and you let with. I appreciate that you do these things for me, and I don't ever want you to think that I'm ungrateful. Yeah. That can set the tone for you to have any kind of serious conversation. Yeah. But if we go in like, I need to talk to you. Mm-hmm. He's already on guard. Right, right. We need to talk. That's like a that's the worst statement that a woman can say to a man because it puts him on guard. Yeah. You want to go into the conversation with his guard down mm-hmm. so that you can have the conversation. Right, right. And so that's what we have to like. We have to learn how to talk to a man. The tone of voice. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be animated. I'm gonna be louder. I'm gonna be a little more boisterous. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to speak as seductively. I'm not going to speak as soft and as sensually with a man that's not my man. Mm-hmm. So when people are like, oh, you're around your man, you talk different. Of course I talk different around my man. I of know that's right. Of course yeah. I'm going to speak to him in a completely different tone. Of course. Yeah. Because this is someone that I need to, I need him to see me surrender to something. Right? Yeah, yeah. And even though it feels like surrender, it's also your power. 